I'm going to show you the most efficient possible way to farm group dungeons completely solo so that you can also kill the bosses and collect the treasure. Now, this is for 2023. This is the most latest way to do it, and this is by far the fastest way to do it. But before I get into it, I just want to share with you, if you want to join the Discord and run group dungeons with me, speed clear group dungeons, there's the link. Go ahead and hit that up. It's in the description. Easy to click. You don't have to type it out. Anyway, back to the video. So let's go over the build and it's kind of a two part build because you're going to use one build to kill the mobs and another build to kill the bosses sometimes. So let me talk about it. All right. First up, you're going to use a scholar cow as your helmet. This is going to be your mana battery, but this also doubles as a shield because you're going to be pulling a lot of mobs at a time so that you can tank them all at once and kill them all at once. Now, a lot of people argue that the Spectre Hood is better because it gives you a double cast of Hellion Jacket, and they are wrong because this reduces your damage so much uh, that you can just pull more mobs than you can with Spectre Hood. For the cape, use a Thetford cape. This is the highest DPS cape that you're going to get. It has a 15 second cooldown, and that's going to matter because most fights are going to take more than 30 seconds. The highest possible damage output in the entire game for weapons is the Shadow Collar. You're going to be using the Cursed Tar and the Cursed Beam abilities. And your first passive here is going to give you more damage in an AoE with your auto attacks, which you will be weaving as you dance around, avoiding the monster's area of effect attacks. For your armor, you'll use Hellion Jacket. This is an emergency jacket. Uh, you use Lifesteal R when you're low on health, and it should top you off. Just use the first passive. And uh, you can use a Crypt Candle. You can also use a Face Breaker or a Moizak, but those are not as fast as the Crypt Candle. However, the Crypt Candle will make you take more damage, but because we're in 8.3, you could also use 8.4. I haven't bought it yet, but if using 8.3, this is just faster. It's just far, far faster. And then finally, Guardian Boots will make your health increase by 100%, which theoretically means you're taking half the amount of damage. It has a one minute cooldown, and you'll generally use this if you're taking lots of hits or you accidentally stand in a stun or something. This is absolutely important. For food, you're going to use roast pork for the life steal. You're life stealing off of your curse stacks, your life stealing off the tar triggering, your life stealing off the auras, your life stealing off of all the damage all at once. Okay? Potion, I just use a healing potion. You can use whatever potion you want. For your weapon swap for bosses, you're going to use a druidic staff with thorns. For some bosses, you can use Revitalize. Uh, I prefer Protection of Nature because this gives me armor and doubles my E. It just helps me kill bosses faster, but some bosses you will need to use Re Revitalize. All right, and then for your offhand for the Druidic Staff, you'll use a Torch so that you can auto-attack faster. This is so you can kill bosses faster. It's not a big deal, but you don't want the Crypt Candle on because you'll take more damage. And then you'll use a Mercenary Jacket, which will heal you up, and the reason why we're using Protection of Nature, this doubles the healing, well not quite double, but it's almost, it almost doubles the healing that you receive from Mercenary Jacket. It's, it's such a good combo. Okay, so a few questions that people are going to have in the comments, they're going to ask, well, can I do this in 6.3? Do I need 100 spec? Can I use 7.2? Can I use flat 8? And the answer is, I don't honestly know. I don't know if you can get away with using those or not, but there, it's definitely not going to be the fastest. I would recommend using the highest possible tier you can afford. It's it's tier 5, it's in a yellow zone. It doesn't matter if you get down, it's a repair bill. You can't lose the gear, so you might as well go just all out. So, next up is we're going to be using a tier 5 dungeon map, and the reason why is because not only is the loot better, the fame is better, the monsters aren't that much more difficult, but you also have a guaranteed dungeon unless someone, you know, rolls up and steals it. Now, there is a trick. You want to be, you want to be on a map that only has one yellow zone bordering it, okay? So in this case, I'm in, I'm in Sand Gust Cleft, so when I use the map, it should go to Parched Throat or possibly Long uh, Shadow Plain. Hopefully it doesn't go to Snapshaft. I think it bugs out sometimes and does, but we're going to find out right now. And this is only cost 50,000. This saves you so much time trying to hunt down group dungeons manually, so I'm just going to pop it, and it <laughs> went to Sand <laughs> uh, Snapshaft Trough, so that sucks. Um, now I have to go to Drywater Meadow and to get there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that real quick, and I'll meet you there. Okay, as we approach the dungeon, once we get somewhat close, it will then appear for everyone, and people can steal this from you, by the way. Um, but because I'm faction flagged, they can't technically attack me if they are PvP flagged. 
they have to be flagged as a uh, opposing faction to, to damage me. So I recommend that you always faction flag when you do these. That way, well, you also earn faction points. And you earn quite a bit, a lot of faction points. So there's the dungeon. We're going to go ahead and dismount so it zones in. Now, there are some bosses you just, you can't touch. You can't kill them no matter what you do. Uh, so I'll let you know. And uh, we're going we're gonna to play through the entire dungeon here. And uh, let's see, our faction points is starting out at 5,288. We'll see how much we earn at the end. I don't have auto respec on and I don't have my satchel turned on because I don't want to spend money on fame credits. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to push Q, which drops a puddle and do some auto attacks. Then I'm going to drop a second Q, dodge the enemy's attack and push W on the laser. And then I'm going to continue to just, you know, sw spam Q and W's. This is just one enemy, so it's not a big deal. I also forgot to eat my food. That's why I'm taking a lot of damage here. So just kind of ignore that. You can see it's 7,000 fame, 667 silver. And let's go ahead and uh, eat that. Now, uh, j just as an experiment, let's see how much silver we get. So I'm going to change my tax to 100%. Don't worry, I'm the only person in my guild, so I'm not taxing anybody, guys. We're going to see how much silver we earn at the end. So let's do a little group pull here. I'm going to make sure to kill the tankiest target first. That's the one I want to target. So that's two puddles. I'm going to go ahead and drop my E. Now, the way I'm casting E is I'm casting it on myself. And to do that, I hold the Alt key and I push W and that's going to self-target me. That's kind of like a healer trick. If you've ever played as a healer, uh, that's just how you self-target. So basically, I, I Q once and I only use W when they have about four stacks. Now, there's no enemies up ahead, so I don't need to pull them. I can also spam my uh, defensive, so I use my D ability there uh, so that I can just take less damage in general. And the less damage that you take, uh, the faster you can move between pulls. Now, I generally save at least one defensive, my, my F key, my Grow Giant mode, for when there's more danger, because it has a one minute cooldown, whereas the helmet's 30 seconds. You know, by the time I use it, I'm already on the next pack of mobs. Now, archers will dodge. Archers will run around. Now, in this case, I want to grab this guy, because I want to grab as many enemies as possible. And my health is about halfway down, so I'm going to use my E ability. And then I've got two stacks and a puddle on the ground, so we're just going to W that archer. And again, you always want to keep a puddle. Every You always want to cast puddle when it's off cooldown, unless you're in the middle of laser beaming, okay? And also, you can loot while you're fighting, because, well, your curses are continuously stacking. Alright, so these little guys, I don't, I don't bother fighting them. I just let them explode. They're not really worth killing anyway. So here we have an archer. There's a knight up here. There's two knights. I want to pull these two knights as well. That way it's worth it. Now, these knights are very, they hit pretty hard, and they're quite tanky. So I want to make sure that I get them all in the puddle, that I hit, hit my uh, my E skill there. I've got three puddles now. I'm going to use my laser on the archer. You always want to kill archers and mages first if you can help it because they deal the most damage. All right. And uh, we have our laser beam back up. And the laser beam area of effect hurts everybody that, around wh whoever you're targeting. So uh, it's just more efficient that way. So this is just a, a, a mage. I want to just kill him solo just to be safe because mages can really mess you up. They deal high damage. I can kind of stand in this, especially with my shield there. And you can see they don't have too much health. They, they go down pretty quick. But let's see, we got two knights there. And uh, I don't think I can pull the knights right now because the boss is too close. I could, I could probably kill this boss without swapping. Maybe. But right now I want to take out this archer and then this scorpion, which... Uh, Remember, prioritize the archer first, and try to get both of your opponents in the puddle. And and as you do this, as you play, you will learn what you can and can't handle. Organa dungeons are a little bit more difficult for group dungeons just because of the witches. They deal insane damage. Now right there, I kind of messed up. I used my laser beam and he pulled me, so it got interrupted. Uh, let's see, what else can we pull? We can pull these two guys. I can, I can get the, the, the wizard too that's on the side, the, the mage. I'm going to go ahead and shield and then run forward, and I failed, but it doesn't deal that much damage. I'm in 8.3. If I'm in 8.3 or 8.4, it's really not that scary. And I have two heals on me and a potion in case things get, you know, messy, right? So I'm going to actually get hit by that again. Wow. And uh, you can see these guys are about dead, and then down they go. All right. Now, I want to clear as many mobs as possible before killing the boss. Now, also, uh, some people, what they recommend is they recommend that you skip parts of the dungeons. I don't recommend that because if you clear, like, the first floor, a party might come in here thinking they have a sweet dungeon that they can run. 
Uh, but the reality is, is that they'll they'll see that all the mobs are cleared, and they're like, oh, someone's already cleared this, and then they'll just leave. Uh, whereas, if you skip the first floor, you might save time if there's not a juicy boss to kill, but uh, you're inviting more people to basically um, <laughs> uh, steal your dungeon at that point. So, I actually did something there I shouldn't have, and I'm going to explain it. When, I, when you grow big, your HP doubles, which means you essentially take half damage. But at the same time, your healing is essentially halved because once the, the cooldown runs out, uh, you 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 know you go back down to half the HP that you currently have. But your healing doesn't your healing doesn't double while you're grown, so you're only getting half as much. Okay, so at this point, I can try to fight this boss uh, without swapping, and I'm th I think I might do that because it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, so I'm gonna let my health just regenerate here. And we're going to fight it. Now, you can also, if you really, really want to, this is a green chest boss, obviously. And there's an archer up there. So, again, you want to clear everything. You don't want to leave anything near a boss because just one one extra enemy, can it, it can be the end. And, and it sucks. And you don't want that repair bill. So you got to be careful, okay? And, if you, of course, if you have a party, you can, you know, be sloppy. But this is, this is about soloing, okay? We're not talking about party play. And I'm going to stand in that. Why not? It's fine. Let's go ahead and uh, kill the archer there, and then we should be ready for the boss. Alright, the curses should finish him off. And here we go. So, uh, you don't want to skip green chests because they can be worth a lot of money. I had one that was worth a, like 800,000 ones, and I know there's been bigger ones. I've seen bigger ones before. Okay, you also want to fight the boss kind of in the middle of where its leash range is, because if you fight it on the edge and you step out of the arena, it'll reset. And these things have a lot of health, and I, I missed the first puddle, but that's fine. Okay, so again, we have four curses on him and a fresh puddle under him, so I'm going to cast W. I'm pretty much full HP here, uh, so you can see that I'm just out DPSing him. My, uh, my roast pork, which you can use a higher tier roast pork, I'm using flat, I'm not using enchanted. If you want, you can use enchanted, and you will heal even more from lifesteal. It gets kind of broken at some point. Like, the people that solo, like, black zone dungeons use, like, 0.1 or 0.2. It's very expensive, but it can it can pay off, you know. It's it's not too bad. And uh, remember, always play defensively when fighting these bosses. Always don't stand in their attacks. Don't let them hit you with their big, like, you know, when the ground turns red. Always step out of the way. Don't ever stand in it. And, uh, because you never know, like, if your connection is going to lag. There we go. 15k. Let's see what we got. Anything good? 53,000, not too bad. And by the way, the, the the silver bags actually count now towards your total. Um, I know in previous videos I didn't notice that, and I'm sorry, but it wasn't in the patch notes. It's whatever, man. You know, I, I'm old school. That's how it used to be. Okay, so onward. And you gotta kill everything that you come across, by the way. Don't leave mobs alive, because, for those that don't know, you should know this if you're soloing group dungeons in full 8-3 with max spec is that uh, if mobs are left alive, you will not be able to claim the treasure. So, yeah, just make sure you kill everything you come across, okay? Don't leave mobs left alive. Technically, you need to clear, like, it's like 93% of the mobs in a dungeon or something to be able to get the treasure. So technically, you can leave a few things alive, but the thing is also, you know, these give good fame. Even though I don't have auto-respec on, I'm still get getting a decent amount of fame credits. It's not the best. It's not better than statics. It's still good, though. And it's com it's kind of comparable to open world. It's it's debatable if open world is better or not. It really depends. I think open world is just easier, especially if you have the right build. Um, so, yeah. But also the items. You know, these could be uh, skill tomes. They could be all sorts of crap. Now, group dungeons won't have the buff shrine, so don't worry about, like, normally on a, on a solo dungeon, that would be a, a buff shrine right up at the top of those stairs, but because it's a group dungeon, they aren't there. Now, this does not apply to um, the special group dungeons, like the Halloween dungeon and the anniversary dungeon, which, uh, in 2022, there was not an anniversary dungeon. They, they decided not to do it for some reason, uh, which sucked, but whatever. Maybe they'll bring it back in 2023. Who knows? Okay. And uh, we're going to kite the melee into the puddle, and then we're going to begin laser beaming the target with the highest HP pool so that our laser doesn't cut short, because... If you cast your W laser on a target and he dies, then your laser stops. You're not lasering the body anymore. 
And uh, now, normally I can clear like a four floor dungeon in about 25 minutes, which is one food buff. Uh, but that's also very aggressively pulling. I'm kind of taking it easy here because I am doing a lot of speaking. So I'm going to pull these two melees. I'm going to try to get both of these bats. And the bats are a little tricky because they like to silence. But we're going to round them all up together. And yes, I'm taking a lot of damage, but I have two ways to fully heal myself. And you can see my HP is getting a little low there, but look at it. It's just going to come right back up. It's not a big deal. And now I have a shield. And I, I still have another full heal. And I can always just run away and reset the fight. It's not like I'm anywhere even close to dying. Like, I am totally fine. These melee guys do, like, no damage. It's I mean, yeah, they do a little bit. So it's fine. It's it's okay. We're, we're totally fine here. And we got another green chest boss there. Now, sometimes this boss is leashed to these enemies, so I'm going to go ahead and clear these guys out. Just to be safe, because you never know. Sometimes it happens. I, I don't know why. It just does. And I'm going to use them to fully heal myself also, so I can engage the boss sooner. Without having to wait uh, for my passive health regeneration. Okay. Now, because this boss is kind of easy, it's a green chest boss, I don't need to swap to my druidic staff. And the thing with the druidic staff is you don't need max spec for it, but it, it, it helps a little bit, but... I have entire video series about why you shouldn't max druid staffs anyway. Uh, so, you know, it, it helps to have maybe like 30 or 50. You know, something really cheap. Like, getting 50 spec in a weapon is super duper cost efficient. Okay, when you push it to 100, you're paying four times the amount from 1 to 50, by the way. If you didn't realize that, if you didn't know that, that's how it scales. But yeah, see, this boss is just super... He's just... He's just... He melts. I can stand in his attack. It's not a big deal. So I can just self-heal. I can use my, my armor ability too. Remember, you can also use, I haven't done this yet, but you can use your Hellion Jacket offensively if you want to. Because it does deal damage. Uh, you don't have to if you don't want to. And if you feel like you're getting low on mana, that's what the helmet's for. The helmet is, is there to uh, regenerate your mana, but this is not a mana-hungry build at all. Uh, and also it has a passive where you can get mana back. Okay, let's see how much this chest is worth. Uh, it's 27,000. Again, it's not the best, but you, you can get some big juicy chests because it's a group dungeon. It's meant for groups of players. So if you get a purple chest and you pop that bad boy open, it's like 2 million, which doesn't happen very much. It's, it's kind of rare that it happens, but it does happen. Then, yeah, you just, like, 2 million in 25 minutes, not bad. It's absolutely not bad. And you can also do this without premium, though you won't get as much loot and you obviously won't get as much fame. So I do recommend that you have premium while you do this. Um, I know premium's super stupid expensive now. Um, if you can afford it and you have a whole month to, you know, spend or whatever, great, go, go for it. I'm gonna go ahead and run straight to the scorpion here and then puddle... And then sidestep the, the puking breath, poison breath, whatever it is. Uh, the thing is, I'm waiting to get pulled before I laser beam. There, There's the pull, and now I can laser. I can just stand in that. It's not a big deal. I'm go ahead and heal. Now, remember, you can, like I said, you can use your heals offensively if you want to. I haven't been because I've been kind of just chilling, taking it easy, taking it cautiously. And yes, I am in a miasma poison pool. Like, this area will sap your health over time. But because I'm in such good gear and it's a lower tier dungeon, it's not its not super dangerous. Like, it's not that big of a deal. I am half HP right now. Remember, I have my Hellion Jacket in case I get low. I've got my E spell, but I'm going to save it for the next bigger pool. If there is a bigger pool. And this, uh, this archer is going to melt. There we go. Collect the silver. How much silver have we got so far? Let's see. 25,000 just from silver drops. Now here, this is a, this is a predicament. You can choose to fight these mobs, but because I can see the next dungeon, I don't need to kill these mobs because I'm only killing the mobs so I can kill the bosses. I don't need the fame. I don't need the silver. If you want that stuff, you can kill those mobs. But I want to move on to the next, the next floor, and uh, I want to kill some bosses. I want to get some loot. And here's the cool thing too: we're now in a two-floor dungeon at least. Uh, so our map just, uh, doubled in value, essentially, right? Because sometimes you'll, 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 you'll burn 50,000, and you'll only get a one-floor map, and it's like, well, crap, you know? Now I gotta go buy another map or whatever. Okay. Sorry, I, uh, went AFK for a second, that's why I got solo health, so ignore that, but... Uh, I was gonna say that if you go, if you, like, go to a map that has a chest, you can buy a bunch of maps, and the thing is is by doing group dungeons, you're going to fill up your inventory super, super fast. 
So if you do it in a zone or near a zone with one of those storage chests, you don't have to go back to town every time. Right now, um, I think we're kind of at a break-even point here. Let's try to pull all the rats. It's fine. Like, we can totally pull all of them, except that puke is very scary, but that's okay, because we're going to just heal right back up. Look at that. That's the beauty of this build, okay? Yes, you can solo group dungeons as great axe. You could solo it as a bunch of different axes. One-handed axe, realm breaker. You could solo it with some spears. Um, you can solo it with, cro like, crossbow. There's a bunch of different weapons you can do this with, but none of them let you just fully heal like that. This is the only one. And this one out DP not only does it out DPS everything else, including nature stabs, it heals you too. So there's no reason to use any other build than this one. There's just no reason. Why would you do it? You're just gimping yourself. That's a nice little, you know, 19,000 silver drop there. I don't know why I puddled the explody boys. Alright, Archer. I'm gonna go ahead and start combat. I'm gonna lure the rock throwing skeleton. Do they throw rocks or do they throw bones? I've never really fully understood what they actually throw. And, uh, yeah, I haven't been using my helmet cooldown very much, but it's whatever. It's it's just a tier 5 dungeon. It's not a big deal. And if I had 8.4 or even higher specs, because I only have 100 spec. I don't have 120. But if I did, like, I would be dealing some juicy damage. Like, I would be melting dudes. Alright, let's go ahead and use uh, our heal there, because I was getting a little low. And I do want that to be off cooldown for the next pull, because that, that room looks like it's a big room with lots of mobs. Now, you don't want to go overboard uh, when, when pulling, but you can, you can pull a healthy amount of mobs. Like, we can go ahead and uh, you can also puddle multiple things. Like, if there's a, like a structure that you need to kill, then you could puddle the structure and then fight the mobs. And uh, you can see my health's getting a little low here. That's fine. We have that E-spell. It's not going to heal us that much, but it's going to heal us a little bit. So, there we go. I also have my Hellion Jacket, so I can Hellion Jacket this next pull here. And this is kind of a kind of a sus pull, you know? It's, it's a little sussy, but there we go. Hellion Jacket. Look at the Hellion Jacket do its thing. And I did have to get out of range there for a bit. It's fine. We got the shield. And it looks like we got another green or possibly bl blue chest boss. It's kind of hard to tell from here. It's been a while. That is a green chest boss once again. And, uh, yeah, so you hate to see it. I, I, if you, if you look up on my channel, I do have a, a really juicy group dungeon run that made me like 3 million. It's really, really nice. So it does happen, doesn't happen often, but it can happen. There, 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 it's still a good source of income. It's fun. It's something to do. All right, we dropped the puddle. We're dropping our uh, W. I'm going to tank that because I have, well, I have this heal. I'm fine. I have my shield. You know, I have all, I have a ton of different answers to this. Alright, and we're, we're going to just take this boss, and we still haven't had to swap yet. And, uh, maybe we will fight a boss. The undead dungeons are actually some of the easier ones. Uh, and undead and heretic, that's like the human ones, like the little bandit dudes. Uh, those are by far the easiest group dungeons. The Morgana ones are the hardest, and then the... Grovekeeper ones, they can be hard, and uh, the thing is with the Grovekeeper dungeons, there's a few bosses you cannot beat. You can't beat Arthos solo without a, a one-handed dagger build, because he, he out-heals. He has self-sustain, so you, you can't beat him uh, with, with any any of the stuff I've shown here today. You just can't. Uh, he just he, he self-heals. And then there's the big, like, Earth Mommy boss. You can't beat her either. So... Also, uh, do note that 5th floor bosses, you can't beat any of those. They're basically miniature raid bosses. I've actually never encountered one. I'm going to be real. I've played this game for years, and I've never gotten a 5 floor dungeon. Uh, I've, I've had people, you know, you know, summon me to help them with those bosses. So I have fought them, but I've never gotten one when doing solo dungeons. Alright, this is looking like a nice pool. We got two melees, a skeleton, and a mage. This is what we like. We want, in, we, you know, the more rooms you get like this, the faster you can clear them. So I'm going to wait and throw that puddle and then immediately laser one of the tanks because they have the big HP pool. I'm getting hit pretty hard, so I'm going to grow big here. I'm just going to grow big, and that way I don't take as much damage. And the reason why I don't want to take as much damage is so I can go immediately to the next pool and not be low on HP. All right. Moving along nicely. See, we have a good pace. We're going pretty nicely here. Go ahead and take these two skeletons out. Hit them with the laser beam, and they just immediately go down. And you can see, it's it's not bad. It's it's decent silver. There's no risk. The, the greatest thing that I like about this 
is you're not risking anything. Now, these are going to be a little bit hard to corral together, but it's still possible. This is a triple mage pull. So, you can see they kind of move around here, and it can get a little tricky, but the, the great thing about the mages is, you know, they're, they're kind of squishy. I have several ways to heal this, and uh, just try to do your best and avoid the damage circles. But you can see these two are going to go down. And I could have, you know, spent some time getting them all corralled. There, there is a way to do that. But it's I'm lazy. I, I generally play pretty lazy. I, while I'm doing this, I'm usually watching anime or binge watching a show. Maybe watching YouTube. There hasn't really been any really good Albion YouTube videos out lately. Uh, the last good one is Big Lips made a PvP guide for Spears, and I thought that was pretty cool. But, um, other than that, it's just the same stuff. It's just people doing mists. Nothing really too crazy. I don't know, what kind of stuff do y'all want to see, you know? I'm, I'm always struggling to find ideas. I will sit around all day. I'm like, well, what, what do the audience want to see? What, what do they like watching? And, uh, hopefully I make some cool stuff, you know? But, lately, it's, I feel like this game is tapped out. The player base is way down. People are quitting left and right. There's less players, less searches for this game. Now, this is a double boss, and it's a the thing is, it's a tome chest. I'm going to leave them alive because I don't need the tomes. The, the thing with group dungeon tomes is you barely get more than you would in a from a solo dungeon. So, to me, they're not worth doing. If you want, you can do them. But for that fight, I could probably do it with Curse Staff. Um, though I definitely could do it with Druidic. Just remember, the Druidic Staff makes, uh, it, it's just slower. And this is tricky. I'm gonna get, I have to stand right in the middle on this fight. Look at this. This is some, uh, World of Warcraft next Ramas dancing here. If anyone knows that reference. If anyone played World of Warcraft. Oh, beautiful. Oh, nope, some mobs there in the corner. I didn't see them. I'm, I'm blind, guys. <laughs> I am so blind. Okay. Let's uh, shield that. Shield the two frosty explosions there. And our food buff, it's, uh, you know, we've still got plenty of time. Here's the thing, too. You want to pay attention to your food buff, because if you do a big pull and that food buff runs out in the middle of it, you're dead. <laughs> like, you're going to eat a repair bill. It, there's just no way around it. Okay. Now, I guess the, the, the archers in the group dungeons don't dodge. It's only the static archers that dodge. So, uh, is that going to stun me? I'm going to tank it. Yeah, it's not going to stun me. Okay, cool. Yeah, these guys are little babies. All right, so I want to burn my heal pretty quick here because this, again, we're, we are stepping in poison. You can see my health dropping rapidly. So I'm just going to dump that immediately and top myself off. Start puddling the scorpion here. And, of course, the pukey guy. I forget his name. What's he called? Undead ghoul. Okay, yeah. Start laser beaming him. He might pull me out of it. I'm going to shield that. Again, because I am taking a beating here, because I am inhaling poison fumes. But it's still not enough to take me down. We're, we're too strong. We're like an anime protagonist. Okay? And uh, our heal has got two seconds, and I can just pop it on the next little pull here. Sadly, it's just two of them. Now, other dungeons, you can pull a lot more mob, especially the heretic dungeons. Uh, but you got to be careful if they have thieves. That's another mob to watch out for. The, the, the double dagger dual wielding thief mobs. The rogues, I don't know what they're really called, but those guys hit super hard. And you, you want to make sure that, you know, you're only fighting like two of those at a time. Ops. Alright, uh, is are we getting towards the end of the dungeon? I think so. This could just be a two-floor dungeon, and that's fine with me. Because this video is already 20... Yeah, there's the boss circle. We're at the end, guys. Now, there's a few bosses in the undead dungeons that are super easy. Uh, if it's the ghost super easy if it's the uh it's like a lich that shields itself those are kind of difficult all right so we're gonna see what the boss is here after i well now this room is a pain to pull uh it's got the patrol too so i think i'll do left side first oh oh <laughs> i guess not okay we're gonna do a very difficult pull here and see if we can do it oh thank you scorpion you saved me from all the air bursts try to get all of them together here and we're gonna grow <laughs> Oh, this is this is a very difficult pull. I am. Uh, I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> I didn't want to do this. Okay, we're we're popping the Hellion jacket. We're gonna kill what we can and retreat here. This could be. We could go down here. So I'm gonna. I'm out of defensives. Uh, luckily, we're gonna kill three of them right now. Oh, this is such a tough pull, but we did it. We actually we got our heal back. So yeah, we're we're good. We got our shield back too. See, I pop my defensives right off so that they go off cooldown. I, I'm not waiting until I'm in critical health. 
But, you know, I made that look pretty easy, but it's, uh... If I had, like, a little heart rate monitor, like, doohickey, you would see it go up. Not bad drops. It was, like, 8 or 9k. I think it might be S Skeleton King boss? The dude with the hammer? Yeah, it is. I don't know if I can kill him with Curse or curse Staff. Maybe. I don't know. I can try it. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get a feel for it and see if I can do it. What's his HP? His HP is thirty two thousand. I probably can't. Forgotten general. Uh, we can try it though. We can absolutely try it without swapping. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good shot. See what we do. It's just a blue chest boss anyway. Okay, so he hits pretty hard. That's a big hit. Or no, that's not. That's the. Oh, I stepped in it. Uh oh. I didn't mean to step in it. Yeah. Okay, he's hitting kind of. He's a big hitter. I don't like... Oh, that that hurts, too. I don't see... I don't think I can solo this. Uh, not with Curse Staff. But maybe, you know? Now, here's the thing. I'm letting my Hellion Jacket get a little... Oh, okay. I gotta pop it right now. I gotta... The thing is, I'm letting my health get a little low. Uh, so that that Hellion Jacket he heals for way more. Yeah, I don't think this is... Do oh, wait. Let's shield that. Shield the auto attack. There we go. Oh, maybe I can dodge that. I don't know. He's getting me. He's hitting me too hard. I'm running out. I'm gonna reset. We're gonna swap. So this is why we bring our swap. It's for, specifically for this. So let's equip these. And remember, this is what I'm using right now. I might use revitalize for this fight. I don't think I'll need to, but it's gonna take a little bit more time because we don't deal as much damage. And let's just pop our heals now uh, while we wait for our HP to top off. Also, by the way, for Druidic Staff, I use the passive Energetic, so I can I will never go out of mana with this. I will never, ever, ever go out of mana. Okay, I'm going to let my HP top off. My food buff has four and a half minutes remaining. We've got a potion just in case crap hits the fan. And let's go ahead and start pulling. Shield that. Avoid the little explosion skulls on the ground. Now, every time my HP drops at least two squares, I'm going to I'm gonna cast heal. And uh, the... There it is. So there we go. We're down two squares. I'm going to cast my W into E. And that's going to top me off. I'm also going to grow here. I didn't mean to mash my keyboard like that. So my friends list popped open or something. But you can see growing big helped out pretty nicely there. And uh, let's go ahead and pop our heal because he's going to hit us again here. I actually stepped in the exploding skull. Those things don't do that much damage. Let's go ahead and shield that. There we go. And I don't think he has an enrage mechanic, but that's okay if he does. It's not that big of a deal. Let's see my HP starting to drop a little bit. We have the mercenary jacket. It's okay. We're about to... Oh, okay. So I'm going to W into mercenary here. I don't really need to use mercenary, but look at that healing. W plus mercenary is a full heal. It's super, super nice. Really easy to use. And the boss is down to half HP. We're at full HP. So we're looking We're looking very nice right now for... Uh, we're in, I'm going to go ahead and pop more heals. And we get growth in five seconds. That's a nice little way to tank. And yeah, let's, uh, okay, we can avoid the little shockwave thing. You don't have to. I mean, if you're really good at the boss mechanics, you know, you might be doing better than me here. But hey, uh, I think we're doing all right. So he's, is he going to shockwave again? Yes, okay. So he, he casts floaty skull into shockwave. Okay, let's shield that, that big hammer swing he's got there. See, this just makes the boss so much easier. So much more stress-free. And then... Hammer swing? Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. So now that we know that we could dodge that, maybe we could kill him with the curse staff, okay? I never claim to be a god at this game. I just play it a lot. I play it too damn much. <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna go down. And yeah, as long as we're just running away... Oh, see, that hit me. But we have the heals. And I got my mercenary jacket back. I've got my shield back. We're... Look, I could just start walking into these these dang skulls here. It's not a big deal. There we go. <laughs> he also dropped a nice book for us. What a nerd. He's carrying around a book. Okay, and what kind of juicy loot do we get? Uh, we got 53,000. So, again, this is kind of a dud dungeon, but we did make our money back. We had some fun. And, uh, faction point time. Let's see how much we earned. We earned, we earned like 5,000 something. I don't remember because I didn't write it down, but I did say it out loud, and I remember it was 5,000 something. So we gained... 4,000 something points, right? That basically pays for the dungeon if you buy a heart. Um, <laughs> uh, what about our, uh, our silver pickup? That's another 50,000. That also pays for the map. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, pretty cool. I'm going to withdraw all that, of course. And then what about repairs? If you want to see repairs, yeah, I'll show you repairs. Where's my crypt can? Oh, it's already equipped. Okay, cool. 
So uh, we'll go ahead and repair now because we didn't we didn't get down. We don't have a big repair bill, but if I were to be down in this full 8.3 with all the stuff in my inventory, it'll be about 200,000. So you don't want to be downed. And then what about uh, teleporting back home? Well, that's going to cost 63,000. And I'm lazy, guys. I'm also rich, so I don't mind the fee. Okay, I'm just I did this for the video not to make money. I, I have enough. I have I have 193 million liquid on this just this character. I have 20 characters. I don't even main this character. This is just my YouTube character that I it's for show. It's for the camera. It's for the for the YouTube vids. Okay, okay repairs uh, Runs us 8,000 <laughs> and then the food we ate one food that runs. It's like three and a half thousand Okay, so there you go. <laughs> Uh, I didn't finish repairing because um, that progress bar didn't fill up all the way, but... Uh, now let's see how much we made total. I'm going to go ahead and throw my gear on my island real quick, and then we'll just use the estimated total to kind of figure that out. Alright. So you, you can see, this is not the like it's not the best way to make money. If you want to make money nowadays, you got to gather, but sometimes you can hit it pretty big. Alright, let's throw, the, throw those in. We have 209,000... In about 30 minutes, um, we also had the 50,000 from silver pickups, so that's 250,000. Um, and then the faction points from by heart, that's 300,000. So technically, our run today is a it's under 600,000 per hour, which sucks. But sometimes it can be very, very good. And th this is just a bad run. It was all green chests and one blue chest. You know, it could be all purple chests. It could be a legendary chest. You know, I I've got videos on my channel that show off those good runs. This one, not so much. But I, this is mostly a guide on how to solo group dungeons because this is something that a lot of players should be working towards. It's a nice, fun, and good activity. Good money, good fame. I, like I said, I had combat fame turned off, but even then, it got maybe a couple hundred thousand. Uh, you know, you multiply that by 90 more percent or... or yeah, two, it'd be two million, basically. We, we could have made two million, and then if we had the satchel on, you know, that's another hundred percent. That'd be like three million or something like, I don't know, it's, it gets, it scales stupidly. Of course, if you had the satchel on an auto-respect, you'd be burning through money, um, and money is tight right now, by the way, because of the freaking cost of per- 16.9 million for premium, that's so stupid. Like, <laughs> I become such a penny pincher after that increase. Anyway, guys, that's the video. I'm Swole Benji. thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I read every single comment. Uh, I don't necessarily answer every question. It's, I don't answer questions that have already been answered on my channel. Please go to my channel and use the search function and type in a keyword and it should answer whatever question you have. But if you ask a question that I have never made a video about, then I will absolutely answer your question because I read every comment, by the way. I have no life. All right. Also, remember, you can join the Discord. There's the link. It's also in the description of the video. Uh, come run group dungeons with me. And also... If, you, if this helped you out and you want to help me out with money, uh, you can also gain access to private, more personal videos by becoming a YouTube channel member. Click the join button down below. It's $5 a month, just like you would pay on Twitch to subscribe to someone, but it's on YouTube. And once you become a channel member, you have access to exploit videos, um, you know, any anything that's like super good that it's too good for the public for me to release. Like, I've got a video on there that shows you how to gain 40% more gathering uh, which is a bug that it probably won't be fixed unless one of y'all report it. Um, <laughs> it's been in the game forever. Uh, there's a lot of really good juicy videos on there. I recommend that you check it out. There's a link to the playlist in the pinned comment of this video. If any of those videos interest you, if you just want to help me out, you know, help me buy rotisserie chicken, uh, become a channel member. With that said, on the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click. I make videos every day, so make sure you're subscribed, click that video on the right, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Take care.